A baby from Wyoming County was born with a rare and deadly condition, but thanks to something called a cuddle cot, mom and dad were gifted a little extra time with their little boy. Newswatch 16's Elizabeth Worthington shows us how the couple is now working to give the gift of time to others in memory of Miles. This is Hannah and Joe Henselder of Tunkhannock, the moment they became parents to their baby boy, Miles. A few months before, the couple learned Miles would be born with a rare and fatal form of dwarfism called thanatophoric dysplasia. It's shortening of the ribs okay. and the limbs are stunted. Okay. So he never is able to breathe out of utero. Coronavirus being what it was, she had to find that out on her own. So I had to sit out in the car and she had to make a phone call and tell me. What was that like? Horrible. No words to describe it. Hannah and Joe knew that Miles would likely only survive a few minutes after birth. But thanks to something called a cuddle cot, a special medical device that preserves a baby's body, the Henselders had the chance to spend 72 hours with their son and say goodbye. Um, we were able to hold him and talk to him. Um, I think it was the head nurse had brought us like clothes to put on him. It's irreplaceable. The couple discovered that the cuddle cot was donated to the Syracuse hospital they were in by another family who lost their own child, Caitlin, at birth. Caitlin's family and the cuddle cot gave Joe and Hannah the gift of time with their newborn, a gift they now want to give to others who may face a similar situation. The couple started a fundraiser so they can donate as many cuddle cots as possible to local hospitals. It's definitely helped us being able to believe that his memory is going to help other people. Yeah. You know, it's, it's, uh, the same way we saw Caitlin's name on the one that we used. It, you know, gives somebody a chance to have a little bit of time they wouldn't have. The GoFundMe has already raised more than $7,000, enough to cover the cost of two cuddle cots. If you'd like to help, you can find a link on WNEP.com. Elizabeth Worthington, Newswatch 16, Wyoming County.